Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the next instalment in my recommendation series based on books and the colour of the rainbow and today we're going to do blue covers. So to dive straight in, the first book that I'm going to recommend to you is Elevation by Stephen King. I recommended Stephen King I think in a couple of uh, these videos now, um, but Elevation is one that I picked up and read in 2020 um not long after lockdown it's a story of friendship and love uh, it's only a short story it's very very quick to read it's about a man who is losing weight um but doesn't really know why no one can pinpoint why because when he stands on the scales as far as anyone can see he is actually the correct weight um, but he knows he's losing weight and as the book goes on, he has to do various things to make sure he stays tethered to the earth. Um, and it's about the relationships and friendships that he makes while this is going on. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it is a really good book. Like I say, it's about love and friendship. And it's not it's not horror. So again, if you want um, a starter for Stephen King that isn't in the horror genre, then I would recommend it again. It's only short so you can get into his writing quite easily and I loved it um, and again it's one I think about quite often especially the ending and I'd really love to read it again see if there were things that I missed um, that maybe I would pick on pick up on second time around. The next book that I'm going to show you is a recent read and that is Nevermore The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is a middle grade novel. It's been likened to Harry Potter, but I don't think it's anything like Harry Potter, other than the fact that the young woman, Morrigan Crow, learns that she isn't all she thought she was. Uh, she is coming up to her 11th birthday and she is supposed to die on her 11th birthday. However, just before she gets transported away to a magical world, the land of Nevermore. And there she has some lessons to learn and she's trying to get into a magical society and she has to go through some trials to do it. This is about that part of the story. I do have books just above my head, books two and three, so Wondersmith and Hollowpox. Um, I'm not sure if that's the end of the series or not, um, but I do want to get to them soon because I want to carry on Morrigan's story. Thoroughly enjoyed them. As soon as I'd finished reading this one, I messaged my sister and said, has my nephew read it? I've talked about my nephew in this before. I'm always reading books in that age range um, to try to recommend to him. Um, and yes, he, he, this is definitely well within his reading abilities um, because he, he's got he's quite an advanced reader for his age. Uh, so this is definitely well within his abilities. Absolutely loved it, like I say. And I look forward to reading, like I say, Wondersmith and Hollowpox further on more than likely in 2022 now but I am going to be getting to them very very soon. The next book I'm going to show you is a book from my childhood and it's actually one of the few books I remember having read to me that I actually enjoyed. Now I struggle with audiobooks, I don't know if I've said this in previous videos but I struggle with audiobooks because the act of being read to I don't like, it doesn't engage me fully um, so I do miss parts of the story. But this is a book that I was made to sit down and listen to um, for a chapter at a time over the course of a school year. And that book is Moss Flower by Brian Jacks. The teacher that I had in my final year of primary school, which in the UK is the year that um, the school year that you turn 11. And the teacher I had for each class that he had every year, he would read them a book from the series written by Brian Jack. And Moss Flower was the year that we were being read to. And I absolutely adored it. Absolutely adored it. Loved it. I've read it since and again, really enjoyed it. And I picked up this copy recently because I didn't have it on my shelves and I wanted to have a copy on my shelves. Um, I've got Red Wall, which is another book in that series, which is the book that was read to my sister's year group. Um, and yeah, I look forward to picking it up and reading it through. Sorry, it's a bit shiny, so the, the light keeps reflecting off of it. And it's about a group of animals um, in the woods of Mossflower um, who 
club together uh, to defend their home against invading raiders. So like I say, it's all based around the animals. It's fantasy. It's for the 9 to 12 year old age range. Um, I would say it's for the higher end of that age range, um, readers. Um, but I absolutely adore this series. And yeah, I just, I can't wait to finally find a reason to pick it up because I've been, I've not been doing it. I keep saying I'm going to read it and I don't find a reason to pick it up. So I really do need to pick it up and, and get going on this series again. The next book I'm going to show you is another 2020 read and that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. I fell in love with this book, with the writing in this story. It is about a young man called Laszlo Strange who is brought up in a library where he learns about a city who we only know as being called Weep. At the point that Laszlo is learning about it, it has a name. However, during the course of his uh, discoveries, anything relating to the name of that city disappears. And this intrigues Laszlo and he continues to investigate and he wants to go and visit it. Nobody believes him that it's a real world, but he wants to go and find that out for himself. One day, uh, visitors to the library where he lives uh, say that they are from this forgotten city and they want people to go with them to help them investigate to try to solve the problem of why it's no longer in anybody's memories and Laszlo puts himself forward for it I like I say like I said when I put this book up I just fell in love with it absolutely fell in love with it it's a beautiful story it's beautiful in the telling um <clears throat> Muse of Nightmares is equally as good and yeah I just I, I can't recommend it enough I've recommended it a few times but I can't recommend it enough it is YA uh, fantasy young adult fantasy um it has some themes in it that would mean that you would be looking at someone who's around the 15 age range and up uh, to read it but do thoroughly recommend it um, for anybody with who's ability is to read those sorts of themes going forward so yes definitely definitely give strange the dreamer, even if you don't take on any of the other recommendations give strange the dreamer a go and the final recommendation i'm going to make in this video is a book that i recently finished at the point that i'm filming this and that book is ariadne by jennifer saint i absolutely love this uh, when i read it it is the myth the myth retelling of Ariadne from Ariadne's point of view. Ariadne is one of the daughters of Minos, King Minos, uh, who owned the Minotaur. And it's how she came to end up being um, marooned on an island where she then becomes the wife of Dionysus. And it's that story from there. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it's one of a few of the retellings that are being told from the female perspective. I think a lot of Greek myth is told from the male perspective rather than the female. Um, and I just absolutely adored this book. Someone asked me um, in my uh, wrap up video, I think my September wrap up video where I talked about this. Someone asked me, um, did you need to know a lot about Greek mythology to read this book? I would say no. I have heart read hardly anything relating to Greek mythology. All I know is what I've picked up over the years from TV shows and other bits of, of information from learning at school and things like that. So I know hardly anything about Greek mythology. But this book is very, very accessible to those who absolutely know nothing at all like me. And I would say it's a great start. If you've never read any Greek mythology at all, then I would say give it a go because it's a great start. And I absolutely loved it. So those are all my recommendations based on the book covers being blue. Uh, what about you? Did you Have you read any of the ones that I've held up? Or if not, um, what covers, blue covers, do you recommend, um, you used to recommend to people? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to chat to you there. If you haven't already, then give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as well. Um, every subscriber is gratefully received. At the point that I'm filming this, I'm getting so close to 100 subscribers. 
um, and just watching them and, and go up day by day and uh, just just loving um, having all the new viewers on board. I make videos if you don't know and put them up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye!